In this question, we're told that ethanol can be prepared by different reactions. And we've been asked which reaction has the lowest atom economy. So atom economy is a measure of the percentage by mass of all of the reactants that end up in the product, the desired product. So in this case, ethanol is our desired product. So we need to look at each of these reactions and we need to figure out which one has the lowest percentage of uh, atomic mass in the desired product. So first of all, B catches my eye because we only have one product and the only product here is ethanol. So if we only have one product, then every single atom that was in our starting materials is in our desired product. So it can't be B because that gives us an atom economy of 100%. Um, sort of along the same vein um, with A, CO2 is quite a low formula mass compound. Um, it's 44. We've got one of those per ethanol. This also likely isn't going to be our lowest atom economy process. So we're left with C and D, um, and we have an option between hydrogen bromide and ethanoic acid. Um, and a, a really good thing to look out for with, with atom economy questions is having a side product, uh, a product that isn't your desired product, that has a halogen in it or a halide, because they tend to be quite high atomic mass. So bromine, 79.9. Um, iodine is even heavier, and often if you have one of those atoms ending up not in your desired product, it can it can really lower the atom economy of the process. So the answer to this one is is C. Um, and obviously we haven't really like worked through um, the atom economy of each um, answer here, but. This is a one mark multiple choice question. We shouldn't be using our equations. We shouldn't be adding up um, the formula mass of every single compound in this question to double check which one it is. Um, if you were unsure sort of between C and D, you could absolutely break out the, um, the formula for atom economy, which is um, the formula mass of the desired product over the formula, the total formula mass of all of the reactants um, times by 100. But here the answer is C because that hydrogen bromide is a really heavy side product.